mistakes happen. You can have, as a speaker, I can have a power cut. I can forget my words. I can, even though I've prepared, forget the structure. Is it possible? Of course it's possible. Anything can happen at any time. You can dry up. You know, as an actor, you get lots of opportunities. Take one, take two, and even maybe take three. When you're up here, you actually don't get that opportunity. When you're up here, it's the only take that you get. This is your opportunity to wow your audience, your opportunity to motivate your audience. And if something goes wrong, maybe something will go wrong in your team. Maybe somebody will forget something that we're going to say, and that's what you'd planned. Then you need to plan for the emergency. Plan for that difficult situation. Maybe one of your colleagues is standing there with a microphone and they think to themselves, oh, I don't know what to say. Somebody needs to take the microphone from them, smile as if it's planned, as if it's rehearsed, as if that's exactly what you're going to do. Don't get caught up with it. Just make sure that if there's a mistake, your audience don't see it. If there's a mistake, make it seamless. If there's a mistake, make sure that you actually are able to actually come out of that so nobody knows it's actually happened. I remember a time, a few years ago, when I was using a remote control, when I was delivering a PowerPoint presentation. You may think that was fine, and it was fine. And I had a remote control that had on it a blackout button, which means I could show a slide, and I'd keep away from, obviously, the screen. Then I'd use the blackout button and come back into my audience and tell a story. No PowerPoint slides behind me, so therefore I was not in the way of the screen. All perfect, you may say, and I'd say, yeah. However, now wait for it. The however was, this was a large auditorium. We had the AV guys up ahead of me. They were all sitting right up high and they thought that when I had turned off the PowerPoint, they thought there was a mistake. So therefore, they quickly put it back on. So there is me standing in front telling a story with a PowerPoint behind me and I didn't want it. That was my mistake. What should I have done? Which is, through all mistakes, we learn through them. I now, when I come to a conference hall, the first thing I do is introduce myself. I go over and shake hands with the AV gentleman or lady. I tell them I'm going to be using a remote that actually has a blackout button. So therefore, who's in control of the presentation? Me. And they can sit back, they can chill out, and they can relax. That's what happened to me. And you know something? I remember that today as if it was only yesterday.